Hey everyone, Sam here from Single, and in this video I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process for setting up a rental video on Shopify using the Single app. Now, if you're not already familiar, Single is a great app for artists, creators, brands, really anyone that's looking to sell content directly through their Shopify store right alongside their physical product. The app makes it incredibly easy to sell pay-per-view content, bundle it with other products like merch or teas, or even make it exclusive to members through a video subscription. Each video that you you create on single and upload as a rental you could also feature unique products below the stream so that you could also push product sales while people are watching now before we jump in why not go through a couple of examples like this one you see right here from 800 pound gorilla they're a comedy label that puts out their specials not only on netflix or on youtube but also directly through their d to c shopify store so they've got a whole ton of rentals that come with different rental durations sometimes bundled with different products and they tell the viewer when they're purchasing it how long that rental duration lasts as well as how to actually cast it to Chromecast or Apple TV and things like that. You can see there's also a rental option from Slaughter to Prevail, the Russian deathcore band. They uploaded an old show live from Moscow as a rental with the option to buy for 24 hours or buy for unlimited access. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of video completely on your own. Let's get into it. So first things first, you'll need a Shopify store with the single app installed. You can find single by searching for it in your Shopify app store. Once you've got it plugged in, you can get started on single starter plan, which allows you to do everything we're covering in this video for free free with no upfront costs. Once you're in Shopify, make sure to one, enable customer accounts. This will allow fans to create accounts for accessing their rental purchases and two, turn off recapture requirements at checkout. This removes those annoying click for traffic light prompts when customers log in to watch their rentals. Now, once you've installed single into your Shopify app store, navigate to the rental section on the left sidebar. Let's then go ahead and add a title for your rental, upload an image, add details. These should include when you want to publish it, the duration of your rental, and whether you want the rental to be free to watch. Everything that you're setting up here is actually all the details that will create the rental product in your Shopify store. Now in this next step, it's time to determine how fans will actually access your rental. You can create a standalone ticket product in your Shopify store, set the price, and make it available for fans to buy. Alternatively, you can bundle the rental ticket with existing products like merch. Fans will get the video when they buy a t-shirt, for example, or anything else in your store. The choice is yours. Lastly, let's personalize the confirmation emails that your customers will get once they actually purchase a ticket. Single lets you completely white label these emails on our paid plans, but either way, you'll be able to add a customer support link, some email text with a body and included in this email will come a stream link to that video directly and at this point you're all set go ahead and click activate to publish your rental and since it is a product in your Shopify store you'll want to treat it like every other one make sure that people that are coming to your store can find it so highlight it on your home page maybe add a banner or some FAQs as good measure so anyone who actually buys the rental knows what to expect you could of course use the Shopify product page template for this that's default when you create it in single or you can could use Shopify's theme editors to really create and customize the page to your own liking using a mix of Shopify's tools and Single's very own app locks. And that is how you create a rental video on Shopify using the Single app. Now I'm curious to hear what kinds of videos you're uploading and creating as rentals in your store. So drop a comment below, let us know. And if you have any questions, don't be shy to reach out. You could drop a comment and we'll do our best to reply as soon as possible or just head to single.xyz. We've got tons of resources for helping you get started. Hope this helps. See you next time.